Hey guys, Clyde here live at Leechburg Lights. Hey, I wanted to take you through a walk on my uh, channel organization setup here. Um, a lot of people with the, with a huge response I, I, uh, from the last video, I received a lot of uh, requests to send uh, a copy of this spreadsheet out. Uh, to I want to say at least 10 or 15 different uh, people and uh, I'm very happy to share this with you in fact I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this onto the website you're welcome to go to www.leechburglights.com and download this uh, I'm going to put a link down here in the video description so you're welcome to just go ahead and go over there and get it if you do not have Microsoft Excel what I want you to do is I want you to go go to Google and type LibreOffice When you do, you're going to come up with this link. It says um, Libre at www.libreoffice.org forward slash download. This is a free program. Feel free to donate to them because they offer this 100% free download version of uh, spreadsheet software. And I have it uh, loaded in my system tray. You can also uh, it, it, the, the program that you'll use is called LibreOffice Calc and it works 90% identical to, uh, to um, Microsoft Excel. A lot of the things are exactly the same so you have a spreadsheet. So. But uh, let's walk through this so that you kind of understand this. Now I've only created this setup here uh, for my dumb RGBs because my controllers have um, have uh, limitations. The the same, however, isn't exactly true for pixel controllers, and it's kind of it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to explain why. But I'm going to pull up the the picture of the Falcon F16 V2. Notice that each output has a fused uh, output, which uh, will only allow you to pull in uh... so many amps to go out to your pixels or your controller or from the controller. Um, we use power uh, Andy Harrison created the power distribution board the, the distro board that I just did the video on a couple days ago and uh, I uh, uh, added it into another controller housing and came right off of the controller and connected and that's where my power injections come from now they won't come from the board from an empty output but uh, basically uh, all of your power for your pixel strings is coming out of here until you have voltage drop or you don't have enough voltage to run the pixels the rest of the way down the line so for example if you run 5 volt pixels these 5 volt pixels uh, if you put 150 of them in a row there's no way that you can control that you can power all 150 at 5 volts on one string unless you add some power injection in the back end or in the middle of them and the proof of that was uh, was seen greatly this year whenever I added these pixel trees there they're 5 volt they are 150 pixels and I had to I went up down that was one string up down was two strings up down three strings so that was 150 I had to inject power right here to here but then I had to also inject power at the end the power at the beginning was fine but as as we go in we're gonna create another sheet here whoops that was meant to go down here too um, as we go in here, I'm going to show you how to create this new sheet, uh, and we'll go through and step through it. These are my Halloween channels. I'm just going to create a copy of this. I'm going to right-click on the tab, and I'm going to do a mover copy, and I'm going to create a copy, and I'm going to put it right here beside where I'm working. So now I have a copy of this set of channels. It's identical. It's the same. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete out the items I'm gonna delete out the nodes and I'm gonna leave the rest of this the same this is going to calculate anywhere and I'll do some highlighting here this is gonna calculate for you in these fields these sets of fields now because I'm distributing this I don't have this pr protected or anything so if you go in here and hit the delete button you're gonna delete the formula so I'll just put it back uh, just redownload it if you screw up. If you don't know how to use Excel, it's no big deal. Play around with it, make some mistakes, and learn on your own. It's pretty simple. So uh, let's, for example, uh, take my Boscoyo trees, which are um, 150 nodes. Uh, 150 nodes, and they are 0.3 watts per node. That's the rating that I found on the website. So from this, we derive, we have 25 total watts they are 5 volt pixels 
and that gives me a total of nine amps. Now, because we're dealing with uh, uh, pixels, we don't have to calculate the amps per channel. We're just going to delete that out. So I guess we should uh, make this neutral. This doesn't need to be here. So now we have a total of uh, nine amps. And what is that? Oh. Oops, that this calculates off of this. This is five volts. Let's do that. Do that. Okay, so we have a total of nine amps connected to the controller. Let's bring up the F16 V2. That would mean I have on one output, which I actually do. I think it's output number five. Uh, I have this Boscoyo tree connected to this output, and there is nine amps total supposedly running through there. Well, there's no way that you can get power all the way out there. You have to go sideways. You have to connect to your power supply and run a second power injection line out to the end of the string to complete uh, to completely fill the color in to make it a solid color whenever you're using all white you can see how nice and bright it is on the right side here but on the left side it's a little darker or a little less it'll be a, a little less bright um, but that's what I noticed whenever I ran those so I had to do a power injection at those points so um, we'll, we'll do another example we have my um, uh, peak star which is uh, 250 nodes and they are 0.3 watts and they're 5 volts so that tells me that that's 15 amps coming out of the uh, coming out of the uh, the uh, controller these are only 5 amps so by all means this should be blowing this fuse but it doesn't because it's impossible to pull power enough for 250 uh, 5 volt pixels from one individual thing, uh, individual output. So I run the uh, power injection from here from a fuse connection from my uh, power supply out to the controller. Uh, I, 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 it's important that you, you kind of get this for pixels that yeah I typically keep my um, my props at the size of an output uh, I'll give you an uh, for example, like I said, the, the pixel star and the and the pixel tree here, um, but also the Coro candy canes. Those are those are 100 pixels as well. Let's go with something that's 12 volt, which is my Mega Tree star, and it uses the um, modules. And the Mega Tree star, it runs uh, what's 20 plus. Uh, 30 plus 30. I think that's what it is. No, it's 10. Oops. 10 plus 20 plus 20, which is 50. I should have known that. <laughs> 50 pixels. Uh, I have, and uh, because each module has three uh, LEDs, it, it's 0 .2, uh, 0 0.72 is the uh, watts per per module, not node, but per module. And then they are 12 volt. So even with 12 volt. I'm getting three amps of power for 50 of those modules. If I ran 100 of these modules, or if this were a pixel strip with, uh, like, uh, my spiral tree, it, it was 100 nodes at 0.72 watts per module at 72 watts total, 12. That was six amps. That didn't blow the end of the string. And I believe that's truly because of the tolerance of the fuse. Um, I didn't have to. I didn't have. I've never blown a fuse on an output ever. And with power injection coming in at the rear end of the pixels, that completes the power fill that is needed from the back side. So it's not necessarily drawing from the front side or the main connection to the board of the pixels. So I hope this uh, helps you kind of understand the uh, the way that uh, I've calculated the amps and so forth. This is perfect for dumb. This is perfect for uh, calculating your, your uh, total watts that you're going to use or your amps that you're going to use for your pixels using both 12 volt and 5 volt. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, I, it's a whole lot longer. If you need more of an explanation on this, uh, on how the setup uh, uh, of this, just get in touch with me through the website at www.leechburglights.com. Click on the uh, contact us and I will definitely get back to you guys. All right. I uh, hate to make this long video, so I'm going to cut it short now. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot and have a good one.